Now, you know, one thing that always interests, you know, all the people listening, especially, you know, even all the press people that I've spoken to, uh, all the guests, how do you, you know, manage to coordinate that? Do they come to your studio? How do you decide who's going to be on the record? How does all that work? Well, at the beginning, it was really hard when I started Arion because nobody knew me, you know. I had to work with people I already knew. But through the years, Arion became more known. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like I said, it charted in 13 countries. So it gets easier, luckily, for me to get singers. And also, uh, a lot of the singers are contacting me, actually, you know, which is like a, a luxury position, really. Uh, so, yeah, my choices are my own choices, you know, listen to music I listen to, the record company, you know, saying like, hey, you should try this guy. This time I listened to a lot of fans, you know, a lot of fans were saying, hey, you have to try Daniel Gildenlo or try Hansi Kush, you know, that's my favorite singer. Then I get in touch with them. There's 17 singers on the new album. It's 17 different stories, really. So few are via record company, a few are uh, via journalists, you know, or directly via MySpace or email. And, yeah, it, it's, it's very important for me to fly them all into my studio. That's, that, you know, my, my stories are about emotions. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, it's really important that these guys are standing next to me, you know, and I can explain them what happens in the story. And, you know, if the melody line doesn't work out, we can work on it. And so, yeah, that's very important for me. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting, you know, because I'm sure people are definitely wondering that. Now, on the record, is there a certain track that you feel, you know, most proud of, or is there one that stands out to you, or is it a whole thing just a labor of love? Uh, well, it's, it's like asking a father, you know, which, is your which favorite one kid? is your favorite kid? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, and I can't be objective about it, you know, I'm, I am my own boss, I have my own studio, so I uh, stop working. Uh, when I'm like 100% satisfied. In in this case, I worked on it for one and a half years. And uh, at a certain point, I'm like, okay, now it's, I can't do it any better. You know, it's perfect for me now. And then I, I, I send it to the record company. So basically, basically, yeah, I don't stop until I'm satisfied about every song. So it's, it's hard to say, you know, it's, the songs are so different. Uh, I, I think the, the first track on the second album, uh, The Fifth Extinction, is, is like a pretty complete song. You know, it's got all the, Area on trait marks, <laughs> yeah. so to speak. So maybe that's that's like a very complete song. But then I love a song like Waking Dreams. You know, it's more a, a more dreamy track. And I, I guess um, a song for every mood. Well, there you go. Song for that. That's good. That's a good description. A song for every yeah. mood. Now another question I had. You know, you got the the vinyl. You had the regular release. Then there was a special, and then there was a limited. Uh, mm-hmm. do, you, do you feel like that, that's cool, that that opens it up to more people? Do you think some people will go and buy all four releases? or? Uh, well, they have to be really diehard fans <laughs> if they want to have, <laughs> have, to have all of them. Uh, basically, uh, what I'm doing is, is, is not trying to get, to make as much money as I can. Mm-hmm. What I'm doing is trying to give people as many options as, as I can. I could like just release one one edition. But then there might be people who are not interested in the DVD. So you have the option to buy, like, the double CD. Uh, You have the option to buy the double CD with the DVD. Then there's this uh, special package, you know, which is a limited edition for the really hard, die-hard fans. And then I had a a lot of people uh, emailing me about vinyl. You know, it's it's really coming back. It is. uh, I've definitely noticed that. Yeah, and especially now, you know, with all the downloading, I mean, uh, people want to have something substantial, you know, something to hold on to, to smell the cover, and, <laughs> and uh, so so I'm happy that 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 is coming back, you know, because I grew up in in the days of vinyl, and and it was so special, and especially the artwork, you know, I, my my the artwork that I use is from a real painter, you know, who, who paints this big painting, and it's such a shame, you know, that his painting ends up on this like. Small CD jewel case or yeah. whatever. And yeah. then looking at the you know the vinyl, I mean, just the packaging, just how it looks. I mean, that just it's got to be eye appealing. And you know, even if somebody I think has the record or the CD, excuse me, that they would probably yeah. go out and get that if they're a fan because it's just awesome looking. Then the clear vinyl on top of that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think it's it's really uh, worth the money, the whole package. It was a lot of work, you know, uh, but but definitely, if you do something like that, you have to do it perfect. You work a lot, but do you, do you have downtime? Obviously, you know, you say, well, I can stop working when I want to stop working, but and if you uh, do have downtime, what do you do? Uh, well, I, I love watching DVDs. Okay. Uh, I watch a lot of DVDs, mostly television series, you know, science fiction or, or comedy. I'm watching Curb Your Enthusiasm. I don't know if you know. Oh, that's such a funny show. 
It's fantastic, and I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> yeah, Death, that's a funny show. I love that show. It's so funny, you know. It's uh, like this horrible mess he gets himself into. Every each episode. Time. And, I, and I recognize so much of myself in him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm a horrible person like that, you know. Only he's, he just says it, and he does it. You know, I think about it, but he does it. <laughs> that's why I like it. Gotcha. Well, that's the end of part one of the interview with Arhan Lucasen of Arion. We've got a lot more to talk to him about, so make sure you keep hanging out here with us on the podcast. Remember, we're doing a giveaway for the Arion vinyl, that three-disc clear vinyl set. What you need to do is send me an email, freeman at spvmarketing.com, and in a 200-word or less, feel free to make it less, 200-word or less essay, tell me why Arion's special to you. We've gotten like so many, so many responses already, and uh, we're going to give away five copies of the vinyl, as the first prize, as the grand prizes, and then as the runner-up prizes, we're going to give away five copies of the EP that Arhan Lucas and Avarion did with Tobias Samet of Avantasia and Ed Guy. Uh, they covered Alice Cooper's "Elected." That's the main song. And there's also an acoustic version of the song you're about to hear, which is called E Equals MC Squared. This one comes off the second CD, CD number two, called Earth, and it features Woodstick. Marhan Wellman, who is now the new singer for Autumn, and an amazing guitar solo from Mike Romeo of Symphony X. So let's go ahead and check this one out. It's called E Equals MC Squared. It's off the Arion album Zero One, and it's on the SPV podcast.